Recently, both of my Art Bell radios have developed audio problems. So in this very short video, I am going to show you what goes wrong with an original CC radio when you have intermittent no sound, meaning that one day it might actually play and the next day it won't. Now if you go on the forums, they're going to tell you that the problem is a sprung earbud jack. It's logical to conclude that given the symptoms, but that's not actually what I've been finding. So let me show you what the problem really is. The problem is actually with the internal speaker. Okay, so I've clipped on my leads. I'm going to turn on the meter. We're on 200 ohms. And you can see that this 4 ohm speaker is reading 36 ohms today. And tomorrow, that might actually be open. The resistance of the voice coil varies from day to day. I can't explain why that is. I only know that it is. So a 4 ohm speaker is required. At the moment, it's 36 ohms. Whether this would work inside this radio right now or not, I don't know. I definitely know that when this goes wide open, it's not going to work. So let's see what a real 4 ohm speaker measures. Okay, here's another one. How's that? That's a 4 ohm speaker. So the problem now becomes how do we replace the internal speaker? And on this radio, it's not easy. So we're going to talk about what's involved. Here's the speaker that I actually used from my stash. You see black screws here beneath the grill. So the speaker is mounted with four screws that go this way. In order to back out those screws, you have to remove the grill. And therein lies the problem. Let's take a look. It's held in by these metal clips, which are surprisingly strong. There's a total of 12, three on each side. In order to get the grill out, you have to first remove all the boards so that you can see these clips. Then you need a pick tool and an assortment of mini pliers to try to straighten these out. It's not easy. Here I've got two done and ten to go. When all twelve clips have been straightened, the grill pushes right out and you can replace the speaker. Now, this is the size it takes, as best as I could measure it. And these are the tools I used to do the job. An old Pioneer TS-106 fit fine. It looks good. Let's see how it sounds. In the great American Southwest, I bid you all good evening and or good morning wherever you may be across this great land of ours and beyond.